students in our today's class we are going to discuss the procedure to draw league fixture with staircase and cyclic method let's move on the league tournaments are those tournaments in which every team is playing with every other opponent whether they are winning or losing the matches they have to play all their matches with all the opponents it is of two categories in first category we call it single league when every team is playing with every other opponent once it is known as single league and when every team is playing with every other opponent twice is known as double league now let's discuss the types of fixtures or methods to draw fixtures the staircase is the first method it is known by this name because it looks like staircase and students please note this is the only method to draw fixture in which we do not use by either the number of teams are even or odd by will not be used in this method it is the only method in which we don't use by let's discuss an example of nine teams we are going to make a fixture using staircase method for these nine teams so if number of teams are 9 the uh, formula to calculate number of matches is n bracket n minus 1 over 2 and we get 36 matches so the first round will look like this in which team number 1 will play with all other opponents like team number 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 after making first round will make second round in which team number 2 will play with all other opponents as we can see team number 2 already played with team number 1 so we will start with the match between team number 2 and 3 accordingly we will move on to the next round and will start third team match with team number 4 as team number 3 already played with team number 2 and 1 in the same manner we will make all the remaining rounds and as you can see here it is like a staircase that is why we call it staircase method and we don't use by either the number of teams are even or odd now let's discuss cyclic method this method is mostly used in league fixtures because it give us direct rounds and schedule of matches and uh, in this particular method every team is going to play only one match in each round in cyclic method if number of teams are even team number 1 will be fixed or placed on right top side of the fixtures and if number of teams are odd by will be fixed on a right top side and number of rounds if number of teams are even number of rounds will be one less than number of teams and if number of teams are odd number of rounds will be same as the number of teams for example if six teams are there five rounds will be there and if five teams are there then also five rounds will be there let us discuss two examples one with team six teams and another with five teams to make a league fixture using cyclic method if six teams are there there will be 15 matches as per the formula and if five teams are there there will be 10 matches as per the formula let us see how first round is going to be if there are six teams we are going to fix team number 1 on the right top side and if there are five teams we are going to fix by on the right top side after doing this we are going to write remaining teams in clockwise pattern the next team after this the next team and accordingly we will write all remaining teams so here we can see in even number of case where we got six teams all the teams are going to play with each other in first round and if there are five teams odd number of teams one team will be getting by now we in next round we are going to see how the teams are going to move and which teams are going to be fixed here we can see 
the teams in the box team number one and by are not going to change their position in any round they are going to be here in every round and remaining teams will move in the direction shown here by the arrows in clockwise direction so round two will be like this every team will move one step in clockwise direction in round number three teams will move one step ahead in round number four team will move ahead and last round every team will move one step more ahead so this is the complete fixture of six teams and five teams here we can see in first round we started with team number two below team number one and in last round it completed a whole cycle and reached the position where team six was there so it com all the teams completed a whole cycle that's why we call it cyclic method and this is most used method because in this particular method we are getting a round wise schedule of matches now let's discuss how scoring takes place in league if we are conducting a league tournament every winner will get two points and loser teams will get zero points and whereas draw every team get one point each if there is a tie between two teams we are going to see who among those teams won their personal match for example if team a and team b both got same number of points we are going to see when the match took place between team a and b who was the winner of that match and if there is a tie between more than two teams we will consider the points scored points in terms of goals runs or points we will calculate the points and then we will decide who is the winner there are two methods to score in league first is british method in this method we divide total points scored by scored by a team divided by total points possible for example if a team played six matches that particular team won four matches one was lost and one was a draw so the total points scored by the team was nine and the total possible points were 12 so we will divide nine by 12 and multiply by 100 to calculate percentage points we'll get 75 points percentage in american method we divide the number of matches played sorry we divide the number of matches won by number of matches played multiply by 100 to calculate the point percentage these two are the methods which we use at the end of the tournament to calculate the points of each team now let's discuss combination tournament the meaning of combination tournament is basically this this kind of tournament is played between teams when there are higher number of teams this type of tournament help the teachers to plan the fixtures in in an easier way we divide groups or zones we divide all the teams in those zones and groups and further in second level inter zone tournament or matches take place let us discuss the types of combination tournament with the help of example the combination let me repeat the combination tournament is combination of both knockout and league we use both the format as per our convenience to organize the tournament for example one type is knockout come knockout let's say there are 16 teams we will divide four zones or four groups of four teams each will conduct their matches zone wise or group wise and ultimately will pick the winner from each zone or group and we conduct inter zone tournament of those four teams to find out our ultimate winner in another type league come league can be played if there are 16 teams again we will divide those 16 teams in four zones or groups a b c d we will conduct their league first in four groups then we will pick winner of each group and we conduct inter zone league tournament based last round to find out our ultimate winner 
in next type knockout cum league where we conduct knockout matches of those four groups but ultimately one winner from each group will be taken and league will be conducted between those four and we will get our ultimate winner the last method is league cum knockout in this method we conduct group tournaments we using league method and after picking up the winner from each group or zone we conduct inter zone tournament on the basis of knockout so these four were the categories or types of combination tournament and in these tournaments we use the combination of knockout and league as per our convenience thank you very much